Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. In the spirit of Halloween, I thought what better way to celebrate than to get ready with me and show my costume. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. Starting off with my concealer. This is the Too Faced Golden Beige shade. Bam. Got the bunny ears on. Got the hairs back. We're going to do a special hair. Because you'll see it'll match perfectly with my costume. And no, it's not going to be the the fairy. I'm not going to be the fairy for this one. So that was a little too revealing as I told y'all when I did the haul. So this one is still a little revealing but not as revealing as the other one. So I feel a little more comfortable. Okay, going on to the eyebrows. I usually just use the e.l.f. What shade is this? Neutral brown. Yes, I don't like to use black or really dark brown. I don't know what other shades I have, but I don't like to do too dark because that is dark. And sometimes when I look at my pictures, I feel like, I don't know. I don't like how my eyebrows look. I feel like I still haven't figured out what I want to do with my brows, you know? So, but for now, I'm going to do what I usually do. So I'm going to carve out the shape, I guess. go in with the elf I don't know what this is called but y'all know the little brown and this one's in the shade medium brown and I just t uh, dip it very lightly because I've learned and this is the one brush that I use for my brows so this already has a lot of brown in there so it's like no, I don't want it to be too much. So you just like tap it. Like just get in there. Sometimes it's a little dry so I will like move it around. But for the most part, no. Okay, so I did accidentally tap it a little too hard. And there was a lot of access of the brown. So see how dark it looks? I don't like it to look that intense. I think in the future I'm going to try to just use this. And then try to just use this whatever you want to call it and then just go like that not how they do it nowadays but just something along those lines where i don't have to use this dip it's just so strong because i've tried a lighter shade too and it's a little too light too light i feel like i can't find the bright shade for my eyebrows so i don't know yeah let me know now that we have the eyebrows done i'm gonna work on carving them out whatever you want to call it um so i'm gonna use the cover girl concealer i really like this concealer too besides the Too faced concealer but i don't know i'm kind of hooked on this now but it is expensive so 32 dollars for this little thing mm. Mm -mm -mm. i don't know but this this works really good it's very um it's not dry so it's not exactly my shade that's why i like to use them on my eyebrows because this has been something else that I was struggling with, trying to find my perfect shade for CoverGirl. And to be honest, I still don't think I've found my perfect shade. So I think that's why I kind of gave up for a little bit because I'm exhausted of buying the wrong shades, okay? So, bam, we're going to do that. So besides me just doing makeup, I figured we would also chat. Let's see what I want to talk about. Oh, well, as you guys know, I'm, I don't feel like I'm struggling with my weight, but I feel I need to work on being more active, you know? Because I guess I finally realized and I finally I'm at a point where my body is normal. You know, and so I have gained weight, which I'm so happy and thankful for. 
as you guys know I do have an illness so that does affect my weight and that is why I was so skinny um, for a long time you know it was on and off and last year was the hardest if I may add so this year has been really really great you know it has been really nice you know because I gained my weight back and I gained my weight like harder than ever I don't know how to explain that but I gained my weight so good uh, I weigh more than 100 pounds and that's you know that's shocking for me because I'm also short so it's crazy I never thought I would be over 100 pounds which wow um, but at the same time I need to watch my weight because I don't know. I am, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not not thankful because I am so thankful, but I need to watch my weight to where I won't lose myself because I feel like, I feel like when you're older, there's such a thin line between, I don't know. It's like, I don't even know. I don't even know when I gained this weight and now I'm at a good point of myself and I love myself. I've always loved myself, but now I really you know, I'm finally happy that I got the weight back. You guys know it's been such a struggle, so it's kind of a uh, it's kind of the main reason why I didn't post a lot of videos last year. So I'm hoping that this year I don't make excuses and be there for you guys because on top of that, yes, I was super skinny, but on top of that, I was not well. I was not well at all. I was sick. <laughs> so uh, that's not the case for this year. So. I definitely want to continue and do things that I set out to do, but I'm a tough person, I don't know, I just, I'm not consistent at anything I do, and I know that sounds bad, yes it sounds bad, but I don't know, to me it's just kind of hard to be consistent at anything I do, even if I like it, I, I just, I don't know, I just feel like I need a change of scenery, I... I don't like doing the same thing over and over and over and over. So I don't know. I don't. I just don't like it. It doesn't. I get bored easily. If I'm gonna be real with you, I get bored easily, and I want to do different things. And I don't want to just do one thing forever. You know? I don't know. I don't know. Are you Are you guys like that, or do you guys not mind a routine? I can't. I can't handle a routine. That's mostly why I try to figure out different things I could do and hustle and do different side jobs. Uh, try to figure out what I like because, I mean, I'm still pretty young. So, I can't say that I know exactly what I do when I, that I want to do for the rest of my life. I can say I have several hobbies and what I like to do. So, YouTube is one of those things. But besides YouTube, even if YouTube, my YouTube doesn't become successful, I honestly don't care. Um, I like to watch videos as well, and I have a bad memory, I'm not gonna lie, I know people say, oh yeah, I have a bad memory, but like, no, like, seriously, I have a bad memory, really, really bad memory, and that's really not good, I think about that a lot, it makes me kind of sad, because, I don't know, I think, I don't know, I feel like it could be an issue in the future, that's how I'm concerned I am, I really, I can forget things so fast it's really concerning to me so i just try to work on uh making content and taking a lot of pictures taking a lot of videos because the way one thing i will say is yes i'm very very forgetful but if i have a video or a picture it's literally like in those movies where there's a flashback and you can just remember everything i don't know how to explain it but when i see a picture i can remember everything like just the feeling, the water, just, I don't know, like, let's say I was at the beach, like, if I took a picture of the beach, I can just remember everything, the water, just, you know what I mean, so, I like to take pictures, I love to take videos, but then at the end of it, I'm just like, nah, it's whatever, it's not that serious, um, maybe I'm just consistent, maybe I just don't like consistency because I'm a Sagittarius, <laughs> I'm so dumb, oh, Sagittarius, <laughs> Don't blame it on the Sagittarius. It's partly because I'm Sagittarius, but that's not the whole reason why. I don't know. I just... I don't like being tied down to one thing. I don't want... This is going to sound so weird, but... Or cliche, I guess. But I'm going to be for real. I don't want to be defined. I want to be undefined. Like, no. Sophia does one thing. No. Sophia does a lot of things. Sophia does a lot of things, okay? I, I do a lot of things. And I'm okay with that. 
but it can get overwhelming like for example i don't know if you guys have checked out my link tree in the description below but i have a lot of socials okay uh yes you know it, it can be fun but for me it's more business than fun so i am trying to manage a good schedule to be active on all the platforms and be as equal as I can be and be present as I can be but that's not easy you know and even though I'm really not anybody yet you know I know I'm not nobody at school I don't really care I don't care to be anybody um but just managing different platforms and trying to come up with a schedule and trying to come up with ideas to do this to do that it's overwhelming and what is the word? What is the word? I don't know what the word is, but you need a break, you know? You need some fresh air. You need some clarity. You need a break for some, some things. Like, so, as some of you may know, I did start a Twitch channel. And that's going really, really well. I wouldn't say I'm 100% gamer, but I feel like I could get into it. So, I've always liked The Sims. I know a lot of y'all are going to like, that's not even... I mean, technically, yes, it is a game, but... I know for some it's like who doesn't play the sims but anyways i like the sims uh i like fall guys i do a lot of that stuff i try a lot of new games too as well so make sure you check out my twitch channel which is spicy sophia if you haven't already um and so i was doing that when i started that i believe i started that like two three months ago i believe some sometime around then and so Ooh, 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 real quick before I forget I'm also going to this is a bottle of water I'm going to spray my sponge that I'm going to be whenever I blend this out I find that it's a little more less harsh and it just blends evenly throughout the skin if I just put a little bit of water it was like just two but nothing too crazy so okay back to what I was saying if I can remember what I was saying so uh what was I saying Oh, 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 what I was saying was, so, I was so focused on, you know, doing well on on Twitch and uh, being active there that I forgot about you guys and then I forgot about TikTok, which, to me, TikTok's not really priority. I really don't really care too much about TikTok. I kind of just do for uh, things for fun there. But, you know, it could be... It could be fun. I mean, that's still that's still content. That's still videos that you can look back on in the in the future, you know, so... You know, that's how I like to look at it. So, yeah, I was on, on Twitch so many days. I was active, you know. I had a lot of fun. I did. I had a lot of fun. And I'm not going to do something that I don't have fun doing. I'm just, I don't want to do that. So, I was having fun. But I needed a break because I know you can do more things besides playing video games on Twitch. But at the time, I just wanted to do games. But I just, I was burnt out. I needed a break, okay. I needed a break. So, I took... A month break from Twitch and now I'm back on Twitch uh, I actually just streamed a couple days ago which was really nice it was really nice to catch up with my uh, my usuals uh, I love you guys they're on uh, I love you guys on Twitch it's just it's just like a, it's a different it's a different type of family over there I like it I really really like it over there it's it's really fun um, and so it was nice for me to take a step back and just chill and focus because I after I left TikTok, I was focused on you guys. As you guys can see, I've been dropping every week. And I want to keep it that way. And I want to make a schedule to where I can be uh, on TikTok. How, well, how many times a day, whatever the time. And here, what day is what time. But I don't know. Because, again, it comes back to I don't want to be committed. Not that I... I feel like that sounds bad. I want to be committed but I don't at the same time because I don't want to disappoint people. Like, I don't want to create this schedule and then what if I don't come on? What if I don't feel like coming on? Like, I And I know that's normal, but, you know, people, you know, people, I don't know. People have, like, their wishes too. And I'm not saying I'm just, I have to just do everything for you guys or for whoever. I know that. I know. I know. I know. But it just feels bad putting people uh like disappointing people i hate disappointing people i hate saying i'm gonna do something and not do it 
I really, really don't like that. So when I do it, it upsets me. So I don't want to do that to y'all, if that makes sense. I just got up and got my phone thinking it was a spam call. I mean, I was saying, thinking it was an important phone call. It was literally a spam call. I'm so annoyed. I don't know where these people get your number from. Like, where are you getting my number from? Stop calling me. <sighs> Back to what I was saying, if I can remember what I was saying. So, uh, what was I saying? Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't want to disappoint anybody. I don't know. But I guess we got to start somewhere. So I have been putting it back. I, I keep putting it on my journal because that's what I like to do now. Because, I, again, I'm very forgetful. So I prefer a journal so I can check things off. And checking things off a list makes me feel so good. I feel accomplished. Woke up out of bed. Check. You know, just anything simple. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or harsh. It's really nice to create a list and check it off. I like that. So, all right. <sighs> Before I continue rambling. So, Bam, we're gonna do eyeliner because my costume I feel like it's gonna amp it up if I do a wing. I haven't done a wing in about a year or two, so we'll see how this goes. I remember the first time I bought eyeliner thinking it was gonna be so well, actually, it is pretty hard, but I was thinking it was gonna be easier than what I expected it to be because man, it is not easy trying to find the get the perfect uh. Got the perfect wing, wings to match. I can't. I cannot. I stopped obsessing over that. I really don't care. Once I get that one done, and get, as long as it doesn't look too crazy and uneven, I don't really care. Uh, I'm looking at this eyeliner, and it's not as black as I want it to be, so let's see what other ones I have. What is this one? Is this even an eyeliner? I don't like these thick ones. I need to buy more liquidy eyeliners, but I see I never even use eyeliner like that anymore, so I don't really care. Oh, this one could work. This one could work. What is this? This is the London Rimmel. I listen. Don't come for me. Y'all know I'm I'm Hispanic, okay? Rimmel, Rimmel, whatever. Rimmel. I don't know. I don't even know, and I don't know what. Oh, it says is starlit black yes and it's called exaggerate exaggerate waterproof eyeliner i didn't even know it was waterproof great okay <sighs> wish me luck wish me luck wish me luck i need to get my eyebrows on because i feel like they look so bushy and thick Ugh. okay okay well now this doesn't even make sense why would i do my eyeliner right now when i can't even <sighs> oh i should have thought about this okay let me see We'll mess this up. So no, I can't do this. this I can't do this. No, I'm gonna have to blend this first because this is not gonna work. <laughs> what am I thinking? Okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna tap that part in. Bam. Okay, and then I like to use this Elf sponge to get in the little corners of right here between my eyes. So that's what we're gonna do. This thing is not grabbing my hair all the way. I see a hair. Okay, where's the hair? I don't know where. Okay, so, bam, we're just gonna blend this out. And I already got my eye. Lovely. But, uh, besides that, everything's been pretty good. Uh, you know. Oh, I also did start an Etsy shop for digital designs that's also like another hobby i guess you could say i really like doing anything digital i like doing intros i like just digital design you know that's what i like to do so if you guys want to check out that shop as well it'll be down in the, descri in the description as well so y'all see i do like a lot of a lot of things <laughs> i do a lot of things so but then I feel like I also fall out of love with, like, I wouldn't say a passion, but I also fall out of love with the idea of some things. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just, there's so many things that I really, really like, but I don't know. But I think that's just my personality. It has nothing to do with whether or not I love it or not. It's just, I don't know. That's just how I am. 
and I sometimes like that about myself but sometimes I don't like that about myself I feel like I always want to do something when I mean something I mean like I was I want to travel the world when I was younger my family and I used to travel a lot so to go from traveling a lot to haven't traveled in three four years is killing me it is just killing me I need to travel I want to do something I you know I'm tired of being in these four walls I need to get out and see the world because uh, I feel like I get a little sad too like there's just so much to see of the world and I'm just working like come on now this is not what was intended for us so I just I want to see the world <laughs> I want to see the world I don't know I just want to see the world but I also don't want to disappoint my parents or anybody else but at the same time I'm like I'm sorry I have to do this for me I have to live my life you know so but realistically just like come on I don't have so many responsibilities like that to where I have a kid or anything like that so yes I can travel the world but no not really <laughs> I have a job so what am I gonna do like quit my job and travel the world that sounds fun it sounds good but I don't know I feel like maybe I'm not being realistic here I don't know I don't know but I definitely at least at least be a little more realistic about the goals if I'm gonna travel okay I haven't traveled in, in three years three four years so okay I see how you feel Sophia so if you want to travel how about you plan things out but that's another thing about me I don't even want to plan it I just want to hey if I call you up tomorrow I say hey let's go to Vegas like I want to go to Vegas right now I don't want to plan it I want to be just spontaneous like let's just go do it I don't I don't know that's just how I am I don't know not that I wouldn't mind planning it but I think it would just be more fun if it was just out of the blue and like hey let's go to Vegas you know but uh we're grown and just can't happen like that you know but it's like when will we ever when did I ever have the time to just do that like never because you know I got out of high school and here I am in college so Am I really too old? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like now is the chance to travel the world before you do anything else. But I don't know. I feel like most people don't see it that way. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, but to kind of get me out of the box a little bit and leave these four walls, uh, I am planning... Oh, I have planned, actually, let me tell y'all. I have planned a trip for December for my birthday, December 16th. So, that should be fun. I don't know if I'm going to vlog it or not because, yes, vlogging is fun. But I feel like it can take a, can take away from the experience. And I want to be fully there. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but my birthdays, speaking from factual evidence, my birthdays have always been horrible my birthdays have always gone bad every single year so i feel like i i don't i won't say i don't want to celebrate my birthday anymore but i just i try to see it from a more chill view like let me treat it like it's another day even though i know it's not another day but let me just treat it like that because every time that i think it's gonna be a good day and treat it special it turns out to be the worst day ever so i don't want it to be like that not this year but boy, do I have stories for y'all. I guess that could be like story time. Ooh, my stories are crazy. Yep. Birthday's been just ruined on my birthday. What? Of course. Why did I say that? Birthday's been ruined on my birthday. What, girl? What? Yeah, but anyways. Yeah, so that hasn't been fun, of course, but. I don't know. Hopefully this year, this year it'll be fun. I'll get away and take a trip and call my little travel jitters and maybe plan something for next year. Actually, I know for a fact there's something for next year, so I'm so excited for that. But in the meantime, just look forward to December. And this, this, uh, this, this eyeliner is glittery. I don't know if it's because... 
I don't think it's this eyeliner. I think it's another something else that I had that I used. And then the eyeliner just kind of. This eyeliner is so thick though. Okay, there's one. There's one. Uh, I will um, kind of clean it up a little bit later on. You guys will see. And since this one's sharp, because the other ones that I have are not sharp, this is the only one that's sharp. And it's really not that black, as you guys see. So we'll go, after I'm done with the other eye, we'll go back and kind of make it sharp, you know? But yeah, those are my plans for this year. I'm so excited. This year has just been flying by so fast. Is that just me? Y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel, because I swear, this month just started and it's already over. <laughs> what? But I'm excited for Christmas. Okay, besides it being my birthday in December, I also really do like Christmas. I really, really enjoy it. Because I feel like... I wouldn't say I'm not happy, but... I'm not spicy Sophia for no reason. So I feel like in December, I just bloom. And I'm so, so happy in December. So I can't wait. I love putting the decorations up. I love this time around right here because I know it's leading up to that. And October makes me happy too because it's fall. You can look forward to Thanksgiving, Black Friday. So lots of fun stuff. I'm really excited about that. And I decided from now on I'm just going to have my birthdays with friends, not family. Because that's part of the reason that my birthdays have always been messed up. Uh, so yeah. And I don't feel like my mom gets that. Like, I'm sorry mom, but I don't want to spend time with you on my birthday. I don't, I don't want to sound rude, but I just, I can't be with you on my birthday, okay? Love you. <laughs> Every year she's like, are you going to come see me? I'll see you two days later, ma. It just works better that way. Okay, how does this look? Does this match? I feel like it matches, but maybe I'm forcing it. Hold on, let me see. Y'all hear that water? That's the dishwasher. I tried to delay it, but I guess it's already starting, so we'll try to do our best here. Sorry about the noise. A little ASMR sounds in the back. Okay, so I don't know. This one's this one looks thicker than this one. Am I wrong? It definitely looks thicker. Ay, ay, ay. Why? I don't want to make this one thicker because then it's going to be too thick. And I. Uh, let's just work with what we have. Let me just. Maybe it happens. Dishwasher just wants to be the spotlight. Okay, if it, if it doesn't look good, I don't care. I tried. I don't like to spend too much time on eyeliner anymore. I just don't, okay? That's why I never do them. But let me try this. I'm going to go and use this again because I'm going to... Okay, this is the concealer I had originally. Then I'm going to put it with the thing that I use for my eyebrows. So I'm just going to... Maybe I should, no, let just put it right here. Okay, there we go. And this, um, this concealer is very, very creamy, so you don't need a lot. That's all you need. So, let's do that. Oh, I think I messed it up. Okay, well, they're clearly not even. <laughs> Okay, I just realized they're not even. They're not even at all. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We can fix this. Okay, is that a little more even now? Do you think it's a little more even? Okay, let me just finish this and see if it does look better. I'm back with a little sponge. Oh, no. Actually, oh my goodness. <laughs> Eyeliner stresses me out, man. Alright, let me, no. Let me not use that sponge. Don't listen to me. Don't use that sponge. Let's go back with the little thingy that I used earlier to blend my eyebrows. Let's use that. Where is it? We're gonna use this. Don't. Ignore that last clip. 
Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay, let me not judge it. Okay. You know what happens? You judge it so hard before you're done that when you're done, you really can't tell. So let me just do my mascara. Okay. And you're going to be like, Sophia, what in the heck? Yeah. I use all of these mascaras. Actually, I don't use all of them, but for the most part, I use about four or five mascaras to complete my um, like my mascara routine I just you know I like them to look really really good so I do that my mom always likes to make the joke because uh, whenever I hang out she's like uh, do you want anything and I'll be like can I get some mascara and she's like girl you're just eating those things she thinks that I basically eat mascaras because I, I run through them so fast but that's because I really really use them I use it a lot so yeah uh, my favorite mascaras is this one I love love this one this is L'Oreal Lash Paradise I really love this one and uh, I just started trying out this one which is another L'Oreal that I saw wait is this L'Oreal yeah L'Oreal it says air volume mascara oh and actually something that's different about this mascara is this one's waterproof I usually just get the regular one but I decided to try the waterproof one so let's see if it does not disappoint so we're gonna try that and everything else is just kind of like other mascaras that I've tried but I probably won't repurchase you know I like to test out mascaras to find my favorite and holy grail mascara so yes but first I always I always like to start off with a dry mascara uh, just because I, I, I can't explain it that's just my routine I like to start off with a dry mascara wand and what I do, I'll throw this one away when I find another mascara that's starting to get really, really dry. But when I realize that this one is so dry that I can't really use it, it doesn't really help me, I just throw it away. So this one's kind of getting to that point. I might throw it away after I do this video, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to throw that away. Uh, also, I've been kind of working and writing down and jotting down any YouTube ideas, YouTube video ideas, but... I wouldn't say I'm not creative because I am, but I don't know if I'm creative in making new content. I I don't know. I feel like everything really has already been created, so I don't know. Um, but I have ideas, but I don't know. Because I'm trying to find something that makes it to where, like, what makes me... I have to ask myself what makes me different from other YouTubers and the answer is really nothing. Like, let's be real. I Let me not sugarcoat myself. Like, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with myself. I'm really not different from all these other YouTubers and it seems like everybody wants to do YouTube. Let's keep it real. Like, that's the facts. But are you going, are you going to rise above that and be consistent? Are you going to make content that people want to see? You know, stuff like that. Also, I learned that YouTube is just a whole other ball game. It's not like Instagram. It's not like TikTok. It's not like Twitch. It's different. I can't explain it. It's different. It's not the same. It's different kind. It's a different kind of community. So I'm still learning. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm still learning uh, every day about YouTube. So yeah, it's a work in progress, and I just hope. somebody likes my content hey i'd rather have i'd rather have five followers that actually like and watch my content than ten thousand followers who don't watch any of my content so that's just the truth because followers in youtube doesn't get you anywhere it's the views and the and the uh interactions that get you somewhere so that's what i've learned and i've learned that the hard way so yes i am hopefully working on growing my community i would love you guys I, I would love for you guys to be a part of the community i don't bite i know i have a resting face but i promise i am a nice person you know this is gonna get to know me i don't bite I promise we are not that different, okay? Uh, and yeah, uh, besides that, 
I just kind of create the content to have fun and to look back on it like I told you guys. So, yeah. I'm hoping, I don't know, I'm hoping sometime next year. Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say, but. I just hope that somebody actually likes to watch me but genuinely likes to watch me not not anything forced and if not that's okay I don't know I just get discouraged because I feel like I've been I'm not trying to see results uh, the next day I understand that it's it's a lot of hard work put into it and I respect youtubers I, I really do especially when they do like vlogmas or vlogtober who is going to upload every day and edit it every day the people really don't understand like if you really want to edit a video really really well it's honestly hard I for me for, for me at least I can only speak for myself for me it's so much easier to film the video than edit it especially when it's a long video I just kind of started doing long videos this year so wow it's a lot of footage so when I look at cleaning videos wow when they're a lot when I, when they're an hour or longer or vlogs I'm just like girl thank you so much thank you thank you thank you because you put a lot of work into this I know maybe not everybody understands or maybe they think it's not that hard but it's it's not easy and it's draining especially when you want to do the job right it's not easy when you have so many ideas and you don't know how to execute them <sighs> it's just man it's a lot but it's also fun because you learn about editing videos and you learn how to edit videos and really that's another thing that you've learned how to do so hey that's pretty cool that's pretty pretty cool I'm trying to find my thing with editing videos is I'm trying to find a good editing app because I sold my Mac so I don't have what I used to have previously to edit my videos so I'm using I'm using Filmora I believe that's what I got for this year and I got a pretty good deal but I was look, looking to get it into Adobe but like bro like I don't want to pay 20 something dollars every month oh no I don't want I listen I have so many bills as it is that I don't want to pile onto them so if you guys love a good editing software, let me know. Cause before Filmora, I tried another one, and I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't like it. I tried to like it, but it was too complicated. But with any, uh, actually, Filmora wasn't free. Well, I, it can be free, but it was just better that I bought the the version that I got because. I would have just stuck to the free part. You're so limited to what you can do with free, you know? And it had a watermark, so I don't want a watermark in my videos, so. Uh, yeah, I just want to find a good software where I can edit my videos. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Hopefully in the future I can get a Mac, uh, a, a Mac desktop and get, yeah, get Final Cut Pro because... Uh, I love Final Cut Pro. That to me is so to me it's easy and I just I love it. Like Final Cut Pro is like my baby. I love Final Cut Pro. It's so easy to manage if you ask me. And it's not hard to understand and anything that I don't understand, again, thank you YouTube for everything. There's so much anything, like anything you can imagine you can look on you can look up on YouTube. Anything. Anything. <laughs> I'm sure there's a video for anything you have an issue with, so it's great uh, I feel like we've come a long way from 1999 the year I was born to now it is crazy I cannot have imagined listen when I was little I was uh, I wasn't really allowed to have social media I get I was a little girl I understand but what I was doing on the computer was I was playing with paint do you guys remember paint just the what came with the, with the computer paint I would just have fun with paint that's what I would do paint or the little snake on the Nokia uh, what else did I used to do I forgot what that one game was but where the ball goes down and you have to the, the thing goes I don't know I'm not good at explaining things but 
a lot of fun games. I would think, you know, now I don't even know if if they're still available. They probably are. I know the snake game is available, but everything else is like just so different. The kids have iPads now. I don't know what they're doing on there. <laughs> they're not they're not on paint. That's what I know. So it's just so different, you know. The world has changed. And the world is constantly changing, so it's crazy. It's really crazy. Soon enough, we're, there's just going to be a bunch of bots. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of excited and scared to see what the future holds, but... I feel like we get so comfortable with things that we don't like change. At least sometimes I don't like change. Change can be bad, but change can also be good sometimes, you know? So... We'll see what the future holds, and we'll see if I'll be alive to experience some of it. Also, I've been, I've been really, really into uh, uh, alien documentaries. So, what do y'all think of that? What's y'all's take? Do you guys believe in aliens? Do you guys think we're the only species? Do you guys think there's other people and other planets? I think there's just no way. How could we be alone in this whatever you want to call it. I know we call it Earth, but besides Earth, this universe, is it really just us? Like, be for real. Be for real. Are you serious? It's just us? It, it can be. It can be. No, it's not just us. It can be. It cannot be. I wish, sometimes I wish I had like the key to the world and I just knew everything that happened in history. That would be so cool, but then at the same time, that would be very overwhelming. You know, so it's okay. I don't need to know the whole, the key to the world. I don't need to have the key to the world. I understand uh, some things are just better left unknown, but there's just so much, so much to learn, so much to know, even, even about the sea. Like, that's crazy, you know? Don't y'all find it crazy? I definitely think there. I definitely think there's aliens. And I was looking at the documentaries about aliens, and it's it's not funny, but it's cool how things have changed to now where it's it's acceptable and it's okay to talk about aliens and your alien experiences if you've had any, because uh, a lot of people back then I don't know if it was like in the 1900s. I can't remember the timeline uh, perfectly, but basically they were so scared back then to say that they they saw something that to them was an alien because back then it was like what are you talking about like what are you talking about it's just us are you crazy they labeled you as crazy like you're cuckoo bro what are you talking about what alien what are you what what are you talking about and it's crazy that the government has known this whole time which i'll be surprised and they just cover it up and they just want to release it now 2022 or They've been releasing things here and there, but this year I feel like a lot of information has been out there. So I'm happy about that, but I'm like, why now? I'm like, why now? What? Uh, what's? What? What else are you guys holding back that you guys think? Because the way I see it is, I feel they think that that's enough for us. Just whatever they're releasing to the public. Nah. Give me all the details. Give me all the details, cause I want to know. And then I was thinking, I, I, I just get it, I just think about it so hard. I was thinking like, what would I do if I saw an alien ship or if I saw an alien? Like, what are the chances of me seeing an alien in my lifetime? I'm really, like, what are the, <laughs> what are the chances? And like, if I had the opportunity, would I go? <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking about that, but I was really thinking about it like, would I go or am I gonna am I gonna be too scared like I don't know that's an answer that I can't even answer I don't know I don't know am I just gonna be frozen am I going to I don't know am I even going to have a choice are they gonna take me against my will am I gonna come back a changed person am I gonna be off what what's going to happen to me you know I don't know and like what do they want with us what do they want with us I'm just curious and okay hold on are they the same? I can't tell if they're the same or different. I think this one needs to be a little longer. I can see that. Uh, like, why haven't they come over here and said what's up? Like, 
I feel like they're really smart and I feel like they know what are the main points of the world, what what places in the world are mainly populated, what places have a lot of control. I feel like they're smart like that. So why don't y'all come to New York? Why don't y'all come to Washington DC? I don't know. So come go somewhere where there's a lot of people. Go to LA. Go somewhere and make a scene. You know? Make a scene. I don't know. I don't even I don't know, man. I don't know. But the fact that the people that claim they've gotten abducted by aliens and they still come back, like, like what happened? And I'm glad that they brought you back. But what happened? I bet they don't even know. I bet they don't even know. Like, they probably don't even remember anything. They probably do something. They drug them. I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm very fascinated. Just how I'm fascinated by the Bermuda Triangle. It's just so much world to see and so much of the unknown that I can't believe I am here, sitting here, talking to you guys and there's a whole world out there that we don't know about. What? This is fascinating to me. I have a question for any content creator or just really anybody that makes music or does TikTok, stuff like that. Do you guys get embarrassed or don't like when other people want to play your music or your videos right in front of you? Like no bro can you wait till i leave or wait till i'm out of the room before you listen to that because for one i don't like how i sound and for two i don't i don't want to watch myself like i don't i i don't i don't know i feel like i'm in a room and i, I feel like i'm in a room with people that are about to critique me and say something and i don't mind that but i don't know like just do it on your own time and just text me if you think i need to work on something don't watch a video with me there. It's just weird. I find it weird. Like, don't do that. I find it awkward. Like, please turn it off. Please. Please, I beg you, turn it off. Also, is it just me? Or has... It, well, I know it's not just me. I know. I know, guys. I know that Instagram is not what it used to be. Um, My whole timeline is people with ads. It's not even the people I follow. Now, on Instagram, you basically have to pay or even the people that have millions of followers yes millions they even find it they even have a hard time because they have commented on that uh, I'm not gonna name names but like everybody's struggling bro it's not it's not the same you don't get the likes that you used to you don't get the interaction that you used to people don't see your stuff like they used to it's not the same it's not the same at all and now they've added the subscriptions button I don't even know man I'm just trying to one thing about one thing about the internet and updates you either get with the program or you get left behind so I'm trying to get with the program here but I know Instagram is not what it used to be so I'm just not I don't care like I used to about Instagram I used to love Instagram and now I don't know it's just not the same I feel different about Instagram. Oh, and freaking Facebook. Well, you know, they're the same people. They are, they're all by the same meta, whatever. Bro, I... <sighs> Facebook hates me. Okay, have I said some things as a joke? Yes. Were they taken out of context? Yes. Like, Mark, bro, don't you have other things... Don't you have better things to chase down besides me cussing or me saying jokes? Like, Mark, for real? Stop. Do these match, bro? Oh my god, I'm doing too much. Yeah, Instagram's just not what it used to be, so I'm just trying my best to get with the program. But if it was up to me, I hope whoever watches this or <coughs> or anybody that wants to come up with an idea of a new app, I propose that somebody comes up with a new app and you can have freedom of speech because we don't have that. You can have freedom of speech, you can post... What you want, of course, yes, there should always be limits. There should always be limits, yes. But, like, come on. 
I can't even say the F word. I can't even say D. I can't even say, you know, you know, I can't even say anything. They want to claim we have freedom of speech, but we really don't. Um, okay, so this, I know this is really basic. I know, I know you're expecting something crazy, but hey, now I'm going to bam, 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 get the Hula Benefit little thingy, little thingy, but very pricey. So I'm going to get this. Actually, let me just, I'm going to use my, actually, let me not start with the brushes. I don't want to start out with the brushes, so let me just do this. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. And I feel it. Woo I'm trying to decide if I want to do powder under my eyes and over here. I don't know. I'm 50 50. Where's my powder? Because last time that I did it, I got a white cast. And I don't know. I, that's another thing I'm trying to figure out. Uh, powders. I like this one, but I feel like let me see. I gotta figure out the ones that give me the white cast. Let's let's just try. It. Okay, so let me get my other sponge. That's how I like to do it. Boom! I use this sponge right here. Dip it in. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, bam. And uh, let me go right here first. I know it still doesn't look good for y'all, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not done. I know y'all gotta blend it. Don't you worry. I'm not a beauty girl, okay? It's not a lot. Less is more. Um, and I know I forgot to tell you what powder it is. It is the Maybelline Lasting Fix, and it's the banana powder. Bam. There you go. Clean up as you go, guys. Clean up as you go. It's just easier that way. Okay. Okay, okay. <gasps> Ooh, should I do a red lip? <sighs> I might do a red lip. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh! Y'all know red lip is not for for uh, everyday occasion. But when you do use red lip, ooh! Okay, now I will use the Luminoso Milani Baked Blush Powder. Or whatever, you know, the, the blush super cute i have a lot i have three other colors i think luminoso is one of the top top people's favorites all right then i'm gonna shake it off with this big big brush let's get into the blush I feel like this was not showing up today. Can y'all see that on camera? The problem is there. Maybe it's just the lighting. This blush is just calm and it's nothing crazy. But I'm gonna be a little extra today. Pop out the Fenty. Woo! Oh my gosh. Trophy wife. Let's see what I'm gonna do with this trophy wife. Okay. It's still as beautiful as when I bought it. Oh. I remember the day I got this. Oh my gosh. I had really, really long nails back then. I mean, I still do, but they just don't grow as fast. And like, I had really, really long nails and I didn't want to cut them all. I was like, listen, if you cut your nails, I will go and get you the Fenty Trophy Wife. And I said, really? That easy? She said, yes. I guess that's how much she hit my long nails. <laughs> so I was like, bet. Say less. I cut my nails. And bam, we were out and went to Sephora. And I got the last one, I remember. Because, ooh, when it came out, everybody was on the hunt for Trophy Wife. Wow. What a time. What a time. Bruh, look at this.
let's go. And apparently, she dropped a song yesterday at 12 o'clock. Or she she's dropping one today. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. I haven't listened to it, so we'll see. I'm gonna do a little inner corner highlight. And I don't know if you know, if you never had Trophy Wife, haven't heard about it, but less is more. Don't go crazy, okay? And I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful. You have to get it. It's a must. And if you haven't, this is not me. This is not sponsored, by the way. Riri has not sponsored me, but hopefully one day. But what I wanted to say was, besides her makeup, her clothing line, her lingerie line, uh, is chef's kiss. Oh my goodness. I honestly don't even think she, honestly, obviously that's what uh, companies do, have people sponsor them. But wow, her stuff is so beautiful. And it's honestly a great deal. She, I love, I love that she is kind with the pricing i love that i really really do love that thank you riri we love you so much we i appreciate it. if not y'all i appreciate you riri thank you so much for making it so affordable and for us to be super sexy you know so i love that i really really do uh and i guess that's really it for the makeup i mean don't be too crazy i told y'all well i don't know if i told y'all but i don't want to do nothing too crazy I'm gonna use the Make It Last Milani uh, setting spray. Okay. I feel like they match a lot better. What do y'all think? I feel like they do. Hopefully they do. If not, okay, it's whatever. I'm tired of playing with them. I'm going to a Halloween party today, so that's why I'm going all out. Yes, this is me going all out. Eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now on to the hair portion of today's video. I'm going to do, try to attempt to do a hairstyle for this outfit, for this costume. Y'all see, y'all will see. I feel like, I thought about it. I feel like this is just the best way I should go about it. I think it's going to just look so good. Let me take out a red lipstick though, just to have it out to maybe put it on at the end of the process. And see if I like that. This is the only red I have. I honestly want to get the red one from Fenty as well. That one looks cute too. But I also have this one. I like this one a lot. Well, this is the only one I have. So, we'll have to make it work. Let me see if I have red, red lip uh, lip liner. So, we'll use this and then this. Okay. We'll use this and this. After my hair. Alright. I'm aware that the lighting is not the best. That's okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is kind of like, uh, I don't know how to explain the two, like two, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. Y'all will just have to see. So let me part this down the middle. I think that's what I'll do. Yes, let me part this down the middle. Let me get a better brush. I would untangle my hair, but my hair is a little bit curly. If you guys can tell so I'm just I don't want to untangle it too much because if I don't like the hair that I'm going to do I want to hopefully try to do something with the little barely well okay now yeah see a little bit of curls that I have left I want to see if I can make that work and if that fails I'll have to straighten my hair which I don't want to do because I'm going to straighten my hair soon and I don't want to one thing that I stopped doing is I don't want to straighten my hair anymore okay I just want to keep my hair natural and that's it like only in special occasions will I straighten my hair and I don't feel like a Halloween party calls for straightening my hair so let's try to make this work okay obviously um, this is just me testing it out I would have probably wanted a little higher like that and then I just want to test it out has it been blurry for y'all this whole time let me see okay the lighting is not doing justice let me Okay, do we like? Do we like? Okay, let me put my costume on now and then we can decide if it goes or not. Okay, you guys. So this is why I wanted to try on the um try on the hairstyle before I officially did the hairstyle because see even while I was trying to put this on, this messed up. Obviously, I know I didn't do my best, but I wish I had like some red strings or something, like something that could like pop out right here. That would look really cool, but I don't. 
So, bam, I'm a ninja. I'm trying to see if I see myself taking pictures in this fit. I don't know. Y'all, I just hit my thigh on the side of the bed and I'm dying. Oh, this is murder. Look at that. Look, look at it. Bad, bad thing. Oh, look, I'm injured. You know, when you don't know, it's time to make a couple phone calls and try to see. All right, y'all, this is what I decided on. Let me show y'all a better look.